I think when you're a UMBC soccer player, you know, you need to be a well-rounded individual. I, I think what we really work on is obviously to be the best player you can be on the field and represent UMBC. You represent UMBC all the time off the field. So no matter what, uh, if it's something involved with the community, we're involved, we'll be involved. If it's something just individually, how you handle yourself, we, we, we have a high standard. Um, and I think that's all part of a championship atmosphere that we've had here. Everybody's involved at UMBC in different things. Um, it's definitely a very diverse campus and a lot of different clubs and uh, organizations. Um, I actually was involved in student government, so I'm kind of aware of um, a lot of the different, different ways that people can get involved, and there's a lot of special people on this campus. So just because we play sports in our free time doesn't mean that other people aren't doing things, um, special things in their free time as well. Yeah, well, I was really serving in a role that was, um, it was actually to help the athletic department. Um, yeah, I was working for student government, but I was a liaison between um, the athletic department and um, student government, so student orgs. So I was really trying to focus on bringing um, student orgs and getting attendance up at, um, at events and um, creating different promos, working with sports marketing, things like that. Um, but it was definitely, it was definitely enjoyable to do, and um, I had definitely had a purpose in it. I had, a, had an interest in it specifically because uh, obviously I am a student athlete myself. So we do a um, an event for Kicks for Chase in the spring. Um, one of our alumni had a child who uh, passed away, and um, the the event um, supports the arc of. Uh, Northern Chesapeake County, I believe. Uh, we do that game every spring and we always bring in um, a pretty pretty recognizable program. It's kind of our marquee spring matchup. Uh, I think the first year was Georgetown. They were in the, in the national final the year before that. And then Maryland, they were in the national final before that. Um, and then Villanova and George Mason. So some really good teams and we really try to make that like a regular season game, kind of our last tune up in the spring before we get to the fall. and. Um, you know, of course, in making that a big game, we try to draw a big, big crowd and get some donations going, and we've raised um, some good money for that, and it really feels special to help out, um, especially someone close to home, one of our alumni here. Um, it's a really special feeling to help them out. But before the game, we do a little ceremony. We go over, we, uh, we take a picture, both teams, both coaching staffs, um, and some of the people in the foundation, um, and of course, the alumni. Um, and it's definitely a really, really special feeling to help those guys out and just everybody knows that, you know, once the whistle blows, it's a soccer game. But before that, we know that we're, we're really coming together to do something else that's, that's even more important. I'm extremely proud of the guys that have went through this program. I'm extremely uh, excited about the guys that are this year's team because we set a culture here of not only winning on the field, but winning off the field. Um, getting your degree, graduating, trying to play at the highest standard you can do. Um, and we've done it so far, and, and we're not done yet. And uh, as I said, I think that's a reflection of what the America East kind of sets the standard for us to say we want to be the best student athletes we can be. And uh, we really take that to heart here.